Oh, this is Amp for Ready, so I'm just going to give you a rundown of this product. It's a V1 SLS camera. So we're going to demonstrate three different types of software on this. So this setup's available on our store. It's one of the best sellers. Um, you see sellers, other sellers saying this is a V2, just because it's slightly different. But this sensor that you can see there, the long slender one is actually a V1. So it differs quite a lot to a V2. So a V2 is quite a lot heavier. It's a more robust later model. So we sell the V2 as well on our store. So the V2 typically senses uh, or can track up to six skeletal figures and it's got different joints. Yeah, I think it's actually got the, the finger and thumb joint as well and the, the wrist. So it's got a little bit more detail to the skeleton uh, that it picks up. Whereas a V1 can track two figures. Uh, in most cases, more often than not, that's sufficient uh, for most paranormal investigators. So at present, uh, I'll just wake up this tablet. So I've connected it to this Windows tablet. So this is actually a, a dual OS tablet. Uh, I'll show you there. Try to cut down on the glare. Um, probably best just to, to drop the lights off altogether to do this. So, uh, you'll see on the bottom, as with all our SLS setups, they've got a series of uh, different icons. So, this one is the one with three lots of software or three different apps. Uh, so, we'll start with the most common that you see. So it's a green little sensor bar, just say I'm just about to press. Um, or you can access these in the start menu as well. I've actually put a, a little connect. It's all a little connect section, section, so all of the apps are there as well. So if you press the developer toolkit, either on the bottom or on the top, real pinned in place. Um, one of the most common apps I'll show you now is actually called um is called let me get it is the connect explorer d2d so if you press the play button it will then connect it's red green blue camera at the moment uh, i'll just knock that off just as a so you'll see uh me there because it's a red green blue camera at the top um, we've got the different colored stream death stream skeleton stream and views so these can all be changed um, so if we go into the depth mode Of a skeleton mode we can so we can choose these different settings so uh, different resolutions different depth treatments um, and then on the color stream we can actually change so like to an, in, an infrared so you'll then see me now in complete darkness scratching my nose um, then we can actually change that to uh, back to red, green and blue. So I'll just leave it for the benefit of the experiment. Let's try and leave it in uh, infrared for now. I'll just find something nice to prop this up. Use a bit of a infrared tape. So if I move back away from the sensor and um, I'll try and I think it's, it's probably just fouling on the back of the uh, my phone camera. It's got a lot of boxes in here as well. But I can't see because it's dark. Uh, right, and if it recognises a skeletal figure, then it will start to track. So, uh, like I say, the gestures of the hands there, like you say, there's no digits on the fingers. It's just like little stumps. Just find my chair and the bearings so that'll continue to track. 
Um, so if you want to close the app, it's important you do this. You can swipe from left hand side to the middle and it's always best to clear these apps down because you can only run one session at a time. Um, if you try and run two sessions, then what will happen is uh, the sensor won't pick up and it will lock and you'll you'll start to panic thinking it's broken when it's actually not. Um, we'll then go on to this app. This is called uh, FAAST Fast. So it's an articulated skeleton tracker. So for this one, you have to press connect. So when that's uh, connected, it's a uh, sensor disconnected i'll just connect it there you'll see again uh, i can make that screen larger if i move back and i'll just put the boxes out of the way this works in a slightly different manner um, where is it'll start to to go blue like that and it'll actually outline the body if, if there's an actual body there or if it picks up on a stick man and obviously it'll just be a stick man without the uh the body as well so that's uh, boxes going everywhere so that's uh that's a uh, fast so again to close that down we'll swipe from the left and uh, we'll close that down nice and easily like that. So we've then got Prime Sense. This is quite a straightforward um, tracker. So you'll just see this is more like um, the original SLS software. Um, so you'll just see that it's, it comes up. Uh, it'll be calibrating. So I'll pick out my figure quite a, quite quickly there. And then when it calibrates, it'll pick up uh, and you'll see the, the stick man there. Again, just with the, uh, that's just, a, I think, arms by the looks of it. Just, it, it locates the centre of the hand. So they've all got uh, benefits, um, some work in situations better than others or you get a different like effect. So we'll, we'll close that down once again by swiping left to right, just checking it's closed. It's closed. So going back to fast, you've got a few options on this. So if we connect it, we'll just uh, enlarge this screen. So it's actually a mirror mode. So if we flip the mirror mode, um, this is quite useful because when uh, when the actual tablet's mounted behind the camera, then it actually flips. Uh, where's that gone? I can't actually get it up then. So yeah, so it actually flips the image so you're getting a true type image so if you're filming with the camera it's basically not a mirror image it's an actual the actual image that you're uh, that you're viewing so again that that just detects me quite quite quickly and then the stick man all, all form but obviously it's uh, if you read about these uh, people try and debunk them there's a lot of good press about them, a lot of negative press as well. Uh, what we do advise, it's best to use these on a tripod. So the, the, the setups that we use, I'll just show you uh, this. So they come with the actual rig itself. The, you've got the tablet holder 
that mounts on the back. And then on the underside, um, we've got the, the pistol grip. So you'll see that most people have actually copied this design now. So you see the people selling them on Facebook. Um, people just hobbyists selling them. Uh, so they're not, they tend to fall behind with the sales, etc., and, and don't have the knowledge to back up when uh, for the after sales service like we do. So uh, obviously, and it's paying our paying taxes as well. Our prices tend to be that little bit more than the competition. So again, this can be used, that, that mounts on top of there, uh, screws in place on the underside. So that's like a stable table mount, or like we say, it folds, you press this button and it flips into a, a nice pistol grip. So if you wish to mount it to a tripod, you can do so by uh, using the tripod mounting point on the underside of a tablet holder. Um, and at that point, just make sure it's that's where a lot the most of the weight's sitting, so that that weight's going directly down onto a tripod. So in terms of power, um, always set up and get used to these using the power adapter that we supply. It's a, a three pin UK power supply just plug straight in the front uh, and then when you get familiar with the setup you can then uh, start using the, the battery pack so this takes 8AA batteries it's got a little on and off switch and it adheres to the side of the unit and then plugs in on uh, just get that in focus and then it plugs in at the front so you've got portable power then you can uh, get lithium ion batteries yourself. We tend to avoid those, A, because the postal services don't like them. So when, this, when we're sending these within the UK or internationally, um, the post tend not to like them because uh, as you've probably read, the, the lithium ion batteries, etc., tend to explode uh, from time to time. So uh, again, that's why we, end, we stick to eight, AA batteries from a safety perspective and uh, obviously a transportation perspective as well. But it's entirely down to you if you want to if you want to use one of those batteries, we can advise which one to use. So you can uh, you can quickly recharge those between you. So have two battery packs and alternate them. OK, thank you for your time. If you could subscribe, like, share this, uh, comment, etc. Anything you can help that can help us improve our product would, products would be appreciated um i think at the moment we've got over 2.5k subscribers we're currently building that up and i think only about 15 percent of people that watch these are subscribers so it'd be really great if you guys could subscribe to our channel and help us get our numbers up um likewise whilst we're based in the uk we do ship worldwide but most of our followers and most of the people that watch these videos, I think we've got about 60% following uh, or viewers in the States. So hello to all you guys in the States. Uh, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're in the UK, then definitely do that. Be greatly appreciated.